More local news now. A popular Argyle Forest restaurant is back open after being forced to close its doors for lunch. The Dick's Wings and Grill on Youngerman Circle reopened two hours ago after inspectors shut it down, all because of what they found besides food in the kitchen. Channel 4's Crystal Moyer went there but didn't get a warm reception. When I showed up to Dick's Wings and Grill on Youngerman Circle Wednesday, workers appeared to be having a meeting. There's no man. Okay. I was told no manager was available and I was kicked out of the restaurant. A closed sign remained on the door after a failed inspection Tuesday. According to the report, about 40 dead roaches were found in the kitchen, but it was the live roaches that prompted inspectors to temporarily close up shop. Seven live roaches were crawling on the sides of the oven, three more were found on the food prep table, and another live roach was spotted crawling on the wall near the entrance to the kitchen. Since the staff members didn't want to explain the bug problem inside the restaurant, I tried to call. I was just hoping to talk to somebody about the inspection report. The manager that answered the phone didn't answer any of my questions. We're not trying to harass you guys. We just want to get an update. They just hung up on me. During its latest inspection, the restaurant was also cited another high priority violation for storing food like chicken, mushrooms and cheese at temperatures higher than 41 degrees, which is a health hazard. Typically, when a restaurant is shut down because of high priority violations like live bugs found in the kitchen, an inspector will come out the next day and if the restaurant is bug free, it will be able to reopen. Now, as far as the Dick's Wings and Grill goes here in Argyle Forest, the managers didn't want to talk to me about their inspection, but if you want to find out the inspection reports of your local restaurants, you can head to our website, newsforjacks.com. Reporting in Argyle Forest, Crystal Moyer, Channel 4, The Local Station.